join me as I delve into the depths of Christian teachings and attempt to uncover the truth about whether Lucifer is truly a fallen angel. Did you know that the concept of Lucifer as a fallen angel has been a topic of debate for centuries? In this video, we will explore the concept of Lucifer as a fallen angel within Christian teachings and angelology. The challenge lies in understanding the origins and interpretations of Lucifer as a fallen angel in the context of Christian beliefs. Christian theology has long grappled with the concept of Lucifer, and it's essential to examine the historical and biblical roots of this figure. One of the primary challenges in understanding Lucifer is separating fact from fiction, as many modern interpretations have been influenced by literature, art, and popular culture. The fallen angel narrative has evolved significantly over time, and it's crucial to explore these changes to gain a deeper understanding of Lucifer's role in Christian teachings. Moreover, the concept of Lucifer as a fallen angel raises fundamental questions about the nature of good and evil, morality, and the character of God. We will delve into biblical references, historical interpretations, and the evolution of the fallen angel narrative. The Bible provides limited but crucial information about Lucifer, and a close examination of these passages is necessary to understand the context of Lucifer's fall. The book of Isaiah, for example, mentions Lucifer in a passage that is often interpreted as a reference to the king of Babylon, but some Christians believe it's a prophetic description of Satan's fall from heaven. Historical interpretations have varied widely, with some early Christians viewing Lucifer as a symbol of evil, while others saw him as a tragic figure who embodied the frailty of human nature. The fallen angel narrative has evolved significantly over time, influenced by theological debates, artistic depictions, and literary works. The key moment will be uncovering the significance of Lucifer's fall and its implications on angelology and Christian theology. Lucifer's fall is often seen as a pivotal event in Christian theology, marking the beginning of evil in the world and the struggle between good and evil. However, the nature of Lucifer's fall is still a topic of debate among theologians, with some arguing that it was a gradual process of corruption, while others believe it was a sudden and catastrophic event. The implications of Lucifer's fall are far-reaching, influencing Christian understanding of morality, free will, and the character of God. Moreover, the fallen angel narrative has had a profound impact on Western literature and art, shaping the way we think about evil and the human condition. The significance of Lucifer's fall extends beyond Christian theology, influencing art, literature, and popular culture. Literary works like John Milton's Paradise Lost have cemented Lucifer's status as a cultural icon, while artistic depictions have ranged from the majestic to the grotesque. The fallen angel narrative has become a powerful symbol of rebellion and defiance, resonating with people from all walks of life. Furthermore, the concept of Lucifer as a fallen angel has raised fundamental questions about the nature of good and evil, challenging Christians to re-examine their beliefs about morality, sin, and redemption. By exploring the significance of Lucifer's fall, we can gain a deeper understanding of the human condition and the complexities of Christian theology. To summarize, Lucifer as a fallen angel holds a complex and intriguing role in Christian teachings, shedding light on the nature of good and evil. If you found this discussion intriguing, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below.